going? Hello, everybody. Mike here, baseball collector, and it's early Sunday morning, and I wanted to shoot a quick video for a contest response. <clears throat> Before I get to that, I want to mention that tonight, if you're watching this today on Sunday, make sure you tune in tonight. I'm going to be live at 7 o'clock Central Time doing a new episode of Beyond Cardboard, and it's going to be with Blue Jacket 66 Dave, and uh, he just got done... <laughs> announcing the winners for his amazing contest that he had. So again, tonight at seven o'clock, Sunday night, uh, hopefully you can be there live and participate in the chat. It's a whole lot of fun. So we'd love to see you there. But the reason I'm doing this video is a contest response for a relatively new YouTuber, um, but he's, he's grown pretty quick. His name is The Sports Card Kid, and it's a father-son combo and uh, they're just a lot of fun. They do really cool stuff. And they're Rangers fans, Texas Rangers fans. So I immediately like their channel because they showed a lot of Rangers stuff. And they're doing a 200 sub contest. So congratulations on almost getting to 200 subs. It's You'll have to go see the video on their channel. And I'll put a link below to go check it out to uh, see. It's pretty funny. Uh, and he has four things that he wants us to do. So I'm going to read them and answer them. So... His premise was that Scott Scotty Tradition did a video where he asked a bunch of questions of people to um, for his contest where he just got to know people a little bit differently. And so uh, Sports Card Kid is kind of taking that a little bit further and asking some additional questions. The first one he asked is, one card that you had in your lifetime that you let go of but wish you still had? So I don't have a card in my lifetime that I've sold that I regretted because um, that just doesn't happen very often. I don't sell a whole lot of cards, but what has happened is I've I've lost cards in my lifetime um, going on 37 years of collecting. That happens. When I was a kid, my dad had met Mickey Mantle and got a like a, like a postcard signed by him, similar to a Prez Steel, but n not quite. It was like an advertising piece and if you showed it to me I could I would know what it looked like but it, it was signed and beautiful uh, blue sharpie and I had it sitting on my wall at home in my room I had like this paneling stuff and a, and a chair rail along the wall and I had set it up you know to where I could see it and, and leaned it up against there well somehow through the miracle of physics it got somehow pushed back and slid down inside the paneling and uh I never like never saw it I'm like where did it go and and I realized and I uh, oh god this is terrible and I was probably I don't know 12 13 years old when this happened so I was like oh my gosh my mantle and we eventually redid my room years and years later we remodeled it and I remember pulling down that paneling or asking if I would didn't can't remember if I participated or not. And where's that man? I want to find that mantle and never did. Uh, but that would be something I wish I still had because that was a very cool piece that my dad had gotten me. And that would be uh, just great to have in my collection. Uh, I have a baseball that my dad did for me. You can go watch that video long ago that I did a video on that. Um, that got signed by a bunch of Hall of Famers. But I wish I had that mantle. That would have been cool. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to talk quicker. If you were the GM of your favorite team, what is one major move you would make right now? Um, it would be to sign Bryce Harper. But, you know, Rangers, by the way, are my team. Uh, we got a new ballpark we're opening in 2020. And I just think that doing that and the ballpark itself will sell seats because people want to be a part of a new experience, even though we don't need a new ballpark. But that's a whole nother discussion and then um the other thing you need is some stars to kind of launch it off in the right way and harper would be a good one to have the, we're just not going to sign bryce harper you just ask me what move would i make that's the major move i would make what do i do for a living well um so i'm a certified financial planner i've been doing financial planning work for 21 years it's all i've ever done i was an economics major in college at TCU and uh, so I 
do financial planning for people. I help individuals and small businesses save money for retirement and college and all sorts of stuff. And I love my career. I absolutely love it and uh, enjoy helping people. That's the biggest part about it that gives me the biggest kick. Um, so that's what I do for a living. Nominate one other. So he's, this is pretty cool. So there's a couple cards he's given away. And then you nominate a YouTuber to receive a $100 uh, care package from him, which I think is a, a very cool gesture. But he says, nominate another YouTube tuber that you love to receive the $100 care package and why. And I love <laughs> so many different YouTubers. It, this is not, it, it's incredibly difficult to pick just one. But I thought, who would be, who's kind of a newer YouTuber that would appreciate a care package and has, is younger and has similar uh, likes to me. And so the channel that I chose that I would love to see what they got in this $100 care package is Kyle uh, Collecting America's Pastime. And he is incredibly patriotic, incredibly enthusiastic with his channel. He's, he's really new in the community, uh, just a couple of months or whatever. But I just love his style. I love that a younger guy loves vintage and loves the history of the game and the Hall of Fame and all the things that he talks about on his channel, uh, just Kyle, I think would do would it would be cool to see what he got with the hundred dollars. So there you go. That's my response for the sports card kid. And love watching your stuff. Keep it up. You're doing a great job in the community. And uh, thanks for the contest. And don't forget to tune in tonight for Beyond Cardboard with Mr. Blue Jacket sixty six. So. Thanks, guys. Have a great Sunday. Go Cowboys. Keep collecting.